Check out this video on wealth is a mindset. Wealth isn't a possession, it's a mindset, which is why it fucks so many people up. There's a big difference between wanting to spend millions of dollars and wanting to be a millionaire. They are not the same thing. And a lot of times people confuse the two things. Most people are consumers. They want to consume at a faster, bigger rate. So they want wealth so they can continue to consume. The whole fucking system is predicated upon consumerism. Consumerism isn't the path to wealth, it's quite the opposite. Wealth is built by putting your money to work, not spending it. That's a big difference. And having a wealthy mindset means, we talked about this a lot, but it's learning how to take your time and energy, which when you're younger, you tend to have more time and energy, and you trade your time and energy for opportunities to generate wealth or money, and then you have one or two things you can do with it. You can either eat your seed, which I just jumped to farming if you didn't follow me, right? You can either eat your seed or you can plant it. If you plant it, it creates what? more if you eat it what happens done Kirby I loved when he said there's a difference between spending a million dollars and wanting to be a millionaire I think that was the best way I've heard this described when you know and and talks about when people want to be a millionaire because they simply want to spend that is a difference millionaire being a millionaire being a billionaire whatever it's a mindset it is a habit of life it is a lifestyle it is not the action of just spending millions of dollars and it's comical because the way people see people live a millionaire lifestyle where they're spending millions of dollars the only people spending millions of dollars are billionaires because it's such a small percentage of their net worth so to be a millionaire if you spend like that you're gonna go back to zero so it's it's an interesting concept. I liked what he said in the whole video and how he explained it. But what are your thoughts on that video? Yeah, I mean, the video is great. And you know, what you said, that that is a big nuance of it. I mean, people people hear, I mean, they'll hear through the grapevine like, oh, yeah, Kirby's a millionaire. But then, I mean, I've seen it many times. I pull up somewhere. Oh, where's the Lambo? You know, where's the where's the Porsche? I mean, First off, I'm not a car, I'm not a car guy in the first place. But that's what they associated with. Oh, once you get to a million, you should be spending a million dollars and showing everybody you have a million dollars. No. No, you're a millionaire. You should be spending, let's say, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. I mean, on you, on you and your lifestyle, not not the nuances of it. I mean, let's go to Jeff Bezos. Bezos for forever, he was riding around with a little Honda or Toyota Corolla, and he was worth billions i mean now you see jeff bezos spend money but you don't see him spend billions of dollars on his life he spent billions of dollars on investment and he's worth hundreds of billions but he spent billions on investments but he spent millions on his life but people get that concept and that nuance all misconstrued misconstrued that's what i want to say and people think still to this day, I don't know why, with all this information I hear, the internet age, the information age that we're in, they think a millionaire is somebody who makes a million dollars a year. Well, if you make a million dollars a year, you spend a million dollars a year. And that's what the people with no knowledge understand because they make $30,000 a year and they spend $30,000 a year. That's not how it works. You don't get to millionaire, decamillion, millionaire status by spending all that you bring in. You buy assets to afford your life. And FYI, for most people that don't understand, there's not many 100% return opportunities out there when you get to millionaire status. So what I mean by that is you can't, let's just, you buy an apartment complex for a million and then apartment complex bring you a million dollars. The cash flow from that apartment complex for a million dollars might bring you 50, 60, I'm talking about cash flow. Might bring you 60, 70, let's just say $100,000 a year in cash flow. That's the money you can spend, $100,000, not the million. $100,000. That's it. But people ain't going, but people don't understand that whole concept, which is funny to me. Because why? And he said it in the video. Because most people want to consume. They just want to have the ability to buy, 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 buy. That's not how it works. So... Sorry if I'm bringing people breaking news, but a million dollars in net worth don't mean you get to spend a million dollars. You can, 
but you'll be back broke again and then you got to figure it out again but if you make a million and you spend a hundred thousand and you invest the other nine hundred thousand to so the next year you can bring that up to a hundred and twenty thousand dollars of spending great but once you start going into that nut once you start going into the amount that you invested you're on a fast road to nowhere and that's the thing that i always try to explain to people it's not about how much money you make it's about what you do with the money alex being coy and shy over here like he just said in the previous video working a wg job he never made sixty thousand dollars a year over sixty thousand dollars a year but he's a millionaire i remember we started this channel and alex was like i'm just trying to get to a hundred thousand <laughs> so i'll break the news now he's a millionaire still only making sixty thousand dollars a year it's because he didn't use his paycheck to go live his life. He used his paycheck to buy assets. The assets afford him to go live his life. And the reason why he does it that way is because he's going to one time buy the asset and the asset is going to continually produce income so he can go live his life. Most people go make the $60,000 a year. They go live their life. And then now i got to go work a whole, again so I can go repeat the same thing that I did instead of one time buy an asset that will continually repeat for the rest of your life buy it so now every time Alex goes to work he just buy another asset buy another asset buy another asset and then now his quality of life gets improved from the assets that he buys that will continue to produce money from the day that he died to his kids grandkids and everybody else and it's going to forward their way of life and that's what you should do with money not, oh, I'm about to work and slave for 40 years just to say, oh, I, I lived a good life. I, I worked hard. I played hard. I work hard. Well, I don't work hard. Let me stop. I, I work. <laughs> I buy assets so everybody else can work hard so I can play hard off of their, their work. I'm not playing hard off the work I did. Because time is a, a, a element that people just don't understand. So the video was great. Yeah. And I mean, on the last point I want to touch on on the video, too, that I liked was um, when he said while you're young or mostly while you're young is when you are trading your time. He didn't word it that way. He said trading your time and energy for opportunities that create wealth, something along those lines, which he said you mostly do when you are young. Um, and that point, I think, was so crucial because it just shows to the younger crowd, you've got to take advantage while you are young to go for those opportunities because that is when you have the most time and and uh, opportunities or time and um energy and you know it's it's looking for those opportunities it's 100 percent a mindset as he was saying it's not a cons it's not being a consumer you know millionaires aren't necessarily consumers in that aspect unless you're curvy with food then then that's a that's a different that's a different ball game but right. great video i really like the video but if you guys have any questions or comments let us know down below don't forget to share this video subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one